as one guys hope sure you all enjoy yourself this is Saeed Aslan from Tripuri University Lahore Pakistan uh, so first of all uh, happy new year and today we are going to learn uh, how to conduct Johansson cointegration test so um, first uh, I would like to uh, share that uh, when we apply Johansson cointegration test if our variables are uh, stationary at first difference means uh, we have two variables three vari variables or four variables and all the variables are stationary at the same order or you can say like if, uh, if we have two variables and both are the uh, stationary at uh, first difference then we can say there is a cointegration or we can say that um, both of the variables are uh, uh, cointegrated in first order so uh, there is a simple procedure like I have this my file and I am dropping on to ISO's icon here next next and finish so uh, these are my variables carbon dioxide emissions uh, GDP and oil uh, so what to do go to quick and from group statics and here you will see Johansson cointegration test okay uh, write the name of your uh, proposed variables uh, like I have co2 and uh, GDP and oil I have three variables um, you can add if you have more than three variables or whatever you have so you can write all the variables here and okay so uh, always choose uh, uh, option 3 uh, and I have also my blog uh, where you can find uh, a complete information about all these uh, options so uh, when we choose option number first when we choose option number two you can uh, read in detail here lag selections so uh, lag selection uh, uh, first of all uh, you must uh, select your uh, uh, optimal lags and then you should put here optimal lags uh, uh, let's suppose I choose three lags and okay uh, again it's all up to you what are the optimal lags so first of all uh, from conducting this test Johansson cointegration uh, test uh, you must apply uh, optimal lag length criteria test and uh, after analyzing uh, your desired or optimal uh, lag length then you must choose hairs and uh, enter the optimal lags here okay now start here now you can see first statics are available of trace test here see trace test indicates no cointegration at 5% level means uh, you have no cointegration equation or uh, according to the trace test there is a no cointegration equation and how you can decide or you conclude that there is a cointegration uh, exist or not from here probability value if probability value comes uh, less than 5% then you can say there is a cointegration now we have an other table that is uh, maximum eigenvalues so from here you also can see that there is a no cointegration and further from probability value uh, all the probability values are more than 5% so we can uh, reject uh, alternative hypothesis and we uh, will accept uh, null hypothesis that is uh, there is a no cointegration now again go to quick group statics and Johansson cointegration equation from here I'll write your variables in CO2 GDP and oil okay 
add here more lakhs uh, let's suppose i add 6 lakhs here in trace test you can see uh, uh, in this time we have two co-integration test and now here you can see uh, none at none our probability value is less than 5% and uh, at most one also we have a um, probability value less than 5% so we can say we have two co-integrations equations at 5% level so according to trace we have two co-integration equations and now we go to maximum eigens value now here you also can see that we have two co-integration equations and now uh, at none we have uh, uh, probability value less than 5% at uh, at most one we also can see that uh, we have uh, one uh, probability value less than 5% so what we observe we observe that optimal lags are most important while we conducting Johansson co-integration test now um, another problem exists sometime trace test indicate there is one co-integration equation while maximum eigenvalue test indicate that there is no co-integration so mostly uh, uh, students uh, uh, feel a problem here so what is guideline here you uh, you have no need to uh, worry so you can use trace test as a benchmark and you can say there is one co-integration equations again if your trace test indicate that there is one co-integration equation while your maximum eigenvalue indicate there is a no co-integration you have no need to worry you can say according to trace test there is a co-integration test so again i am writing here if our trace test indicate one co-integration equation while uh, maximum eigen value indicate no co-integration so what is the guideline what is guideline you can you can conclude that there is a co-integration among projected projected variables so again uh, if your trace test indicating that there is a co-integration so you can say according to trace test we have one co-integration equation or we have two co-integration equation same if your maximum eigenvalues indicate there is a co-integration but trace test indicate there, uh, that there is a no co-integration so you have no need so you can use maximum eigenvalue as a benchmark and you can say that according to maximum eigenvalues we have a co-integration equation among our projected variables and uh, last what is mean by co-integration among variables co-integration means there is a long run relationship between your variables and uh, co-integration means in long run your variables move together in long run your uh, variables move together thanks a lot for being with me thank you so much hope sure you enjoy